Hello and welcome to another episode of Kuma's Kitchen and today I have Kuma Kapanata. Yeah, it's a Kapanata, but I know there are different regions, there are different versions of Kapanata. No, this is not any of those versions. This is the Kuma's Kitchen version and it's got all kinds of goodness in there. So let's see, you've got, uh, of course you've got the eggplant, you've got to have eggplant in a Kapanata, but then you've got uh, got tomatoes and olives, um, got some bell pepper, mm, yeah, uh, every bite, something different is going to show up. There's some mushrooms in here, I don't know if any, any version of carbonata does, maybe they do, can't remember, but you know, got, there's a red bell pepper, there's some uh, eggplant, mmm, look at this, each bite, you're going to get a different combination of flavors. Fantastic. So, tonight, we're actually having a waffle night tonight. Um, we like to do that every once in a while. We make our own waffles. We have the waffle maker going and then just uh, add your own toppings and stuff. But, no veg. So, uh, hey, she have something to start with, some kind of vegetable. We like to eat our vegetables. So, caponata? Mm, yeah, that's a good way to start. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it goes with waffles or not, you know. Uh, is Italian. Waffles are American? I'm trying to think where, where waffles first started. I mean, there's Belgian waffles, but they're different. Uh, I'm going to make the smaller holes. I like the smaller holes because it's more spread out. you got all these little pockets for things. Yum, yum. Okay, anyways, back to the caponata. Let's go in the kitchen and make that right now. All right, here's the ingredients of my caponata. So uh, across the front here, I've got a half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of capers. Now, if you don't like that many capers, you can go ahead and cut it back to about a tablespoon or so. I like a lot of capers in there. Garlic, about 10 cloves of garlic. Oh, a little skin on that one. Peel that off. About 10 cloves of garlic cut in half. Uh, if they're really big, cut them in quarters. You want about these sizes here, just something to cook really nicely in there. Then uh, the mushrooms, uh, anywhere between about 12 and 15 mushrooms. I cut them thick about a quarter inch or so, about you know, five, six millimeters. Over here I've got a half a cup of green olives, pitted of course, you don't want the pits in there. Um, over here I've got again, uh, go anywhere between 12 and 15 of the uh, mini tomatoes and cut them in half. I've got two bell peppers in here and I've done one red and one yellow because I want a little color in there. Uh, we don't get green here. Never see green ones. So, I mean, I'd like to have a little green in there too, but, well, we got the olives, so we're okay. Uh, over here, we've got one onion chopped. And then across the back, well, the star of the show, this is um, the eggplant. Now, you know, the Asian eggplants are about this size, right? They're, they're long, they're skinny. There's three Asian eggplants in there. I think if you got one of the big, fat American uh, eggplants, or the kind I used to have in Canada, yeah, you could probably go with one. You basically want a bowl this size. Now, none of these measurements are critical. It's a nice thing. Um, the olive oil. I do like to have a good three tablespoons of olive oil. You want a lot of olive oil because we're going to be cooking a lot of stuff in there. Did I say there's one tablespoon of uh, vinegar there? Can't remember if I said that or not, but yeah, one tablespoon of vinegar, three tablespoons of olive oil. All right, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get the olive oil into uh, the pot here. I'm using that uh, heavy uh, pot, the Siwet pot, the one I was given uh, oh, about a year ago now, I guess it was. Love this pot, heavy bottom, so it's gonna be even heat. The handles don't get hot, so I don't burn my hands. Nice. Uh, still haven't figured out how that works, but they just never get hot. All right. What I want to do is I want to bring this up at a medium high. Okay, we want to kind of kick that in there with a medium high on the onions um, and uh, the uh, eggplant, and also get a little browning happening on these uh, mushrooms because we're going to be loading that pretty heavily. So I want a lot of heat. So medium high. All right, let's get that uh, olive oil up to heat. Uh, see, I, I see the olive oil starting to move a bit, so let's get the onions in there. The eggplant. The mushrooms. Salt and pepper. 
I mix those around a little bit. And now, I'm also going to add the uh, olives in. <laughs> the olives. Oh, they're funny looking olives. I'm going to add the garlic in now. Now, usually, I don't want to add the garlic in this early because I, I, I don't want to burn garlic. But I want this garlic, this is big pieces of garlic here. So I want them to cook well. Um, I want them basically like you would have your you know, soft garlic cloves, like you would have you're making a hijo or something like that. All right, so that's it. Those things are going to cook for all. I'm going to go about uh, 8 to 10 minutes at uh, medium heat. I'm going to come back and add in the rest of the ingredients. we will see you then. All right, we're about eight minutes in, and uh, well, getting some a little bit of browning, even, even the mushrooms. Mushrooms are hard to brown when it's uh, crowding like this, but with that extra heat, it's doing it. So that's good. That's all looking good. What I'll do now is I want to throw in that uh, little bit of vinegar. Just kind of do any deglazing off the bottom. There's not enough liquid there for much deglazing, but just a little bit. So get that happening. Let's get those tomatoes in there. That's going to add some juice in there. Tomatoes, olives, pepper, and the capers. So we're just tossing everything else in here now. That's it, it's pretty easy. Stir that around. I'm gonna turn this down now to medium heat. All right about there is good. Give that a good stir. And put the lid on. And I'm going to cook that for another 8 to 10 minutes, but every once in a while I'm going to lift the lid, give it a bit of a stir. Just so we'll get good even cooking. All right, see you back here when this is done. All right, that's been cooking for about 8 minutes and it's looking pretty good. I don't want to overcook it because I, I, want, to, I want a little uh, body in there. You know, that, oh, yes. You can see that. That's looking very really nice. Let's spoon some of that up. Into a, little, into a little bowl here. Ah. Oh yeah, look at that. That's looking nice. Let's get a little bit in there. First of all, there's a tomato there. It looks just perfect. Mm. Only a little caper attached to it. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And how is the, uh, the garlic? Let's see. Where's a piece of garlic? <laughs> no, just when I want one, I can't find one. Oh, there's one. Come here, come here, come here. All right, there's a piece of garlic. Oh, mm -hmm. perfectly soft. That's ready to go. Turn the heat off. We're done. All right, if you like this caponata, stick around. There's a lot more uh, original Kevin Riley recipes right here on the Kuma's Kitchen channel. There's a ton of them actually by now. So uh, go have a look, search around on the channel, um, see what you like, see what you want to make, get going on making something, and make sure that you're subscribed and you click that notification bell so you don't miss anything because they're coming out every week. Now go make this delicious caponata. We're having it tonight with, uh, on this, it's kind of a beginning dish before we have waffles. I don't know if it goes with waffles 100%, but hey, who cares? We're very eclectic. Go make this and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen. <laughs>